Code generation is a proven technology for improved efficiency, better economy, and reduced energy footprint. The Sterling Engine is an excellent machine for code generation applications. It operates quietly with high efficiencies and can use almost any heat source. So this includes heat from burner and furnaces or hot water boilers in our homes. A Stirling engine, when integrated with a natural gas burner of a typical residential gas furnace, fireplace, or hot water boiler, becomes a micro CHP, and it can meet varying amounts of electricity and heating needs. It's also important to note that the system is reliable backup during grid power outages. The proposed ASHRAE project is to design and construct a lap-scale natural gas burner powered Stirling engine, micro CHP, for combined power generation and heating. The objectives of the project are to develop a strong understanding of the basic principles of the Stirling engine and familiarization of its functions, commission the 1 kilowatt DC Whisper Gen Stirling engine micro CHP powered by diesel, and finally conduct performance analysis on the Whisper Gen Stirling engine micro CHP using temperature sensors and pressure gauges. We were provided with the engine from the University of Toronto. When we first received the engine, there were some problems with the connections, so we upgraded and replaced some of the parts of the engine. The test apparatus was commissioned as micro CHP by replacing all the connections, seals of operator mesh, oxygen sensor, and microcontroller. We have regular maintenance on the engine to make sure the heat exchanger and combustion chamber are clean. This ensures the performance of the system and overall safety of running the Sterling engine here in the lab. The useful power output is calculated from the DC electrical power output and thermal energy recovered from the engine block and exhaust. This is the energy balance equation for this control volume. The DC electrical power output data is provided using the Whisper Gen system. A simple equation is used to calculate the thermal energy recovered. The performance of the system was analyzed based on, on energy balance to identify the energy input and output. The efficiency of the engine is assessed using the following simple equations. The electrical efficiency gives the ratio of the net current power output from the engine to the gross energy content of the fuel and air. The energy efficiency of the thermal output from the WhisperGen system can be calculated from the thermal output divided by the total energy input. The engine requires some time to enter steady state condition where the thermal reservoir which supplies heat to the engine reaches its ideal temperature. In the beginning, the temperature difference between the two thermal reservoirs is zero. Therefore, the work output is zero, so the efficiency is zero. As time progress, however, the temperature difference will increase subsequently, increasing the work output of the engine and increasing the efficiency. Near the end of the cycle, once the combustion of the diesel stops, the thermal reservoir will eventually be in equilibrium with the ambient temperature. The work output decreases and subsequently decreasing the efficiency until it reaches zero. In our study, we were able to look at the energy produced from the thermal heat and electrical power. The project is continuing until April of 2016, so it's recommended that we emphasize on parametric studies to reveal the relative power and heat recovery efficiencies, as well as the total efficiency of the Stirling engine. In addition, we'd like to improve the power efficiency of the engine. This would require us to use a more suitable working fluid, so something like helium or hydrogen, as an alternative to nitrogen, which is what we're currently using. Micro CHP systems have been developed over the last 20 years, mainly for use in the domestic environment, where the exhaust from a gas central heating system or a gas cooking system will be used to drive a Stirling engine which produces electricity. The electricity can then be used to reduce the power demand from the grid, um, particularly for domestic applications. This means that environmentally it's a good idea, it's an environmentally friendly idea, because now the power stations with the nuclear, coal or gas fire don't have to produce as much uh, energy. It also means that the hot exhaust coming from a gas central heating system or a gas cooker is much reduced in temperature and therefore uh, has less environmental footprint than a normal system. So the Stirling not only improves your electrical demand but it also is friendly to the environment. 